Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 14-FQ0028 and in today's video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can service, clean and repaste your laptop at home. If yours is running really warm and you feel like it's dusty and temperatures are rising, you can do this every year, every year and a half, depending the usage that you're gonna give to your laptop. By servicing your laptop, you're not going to lose any files or any modification to the system. It's totally safe. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using for this service. And I'll leave the link for the tools on my video description in case you guys want it. All right, tool number one is a one sheet of the workshop tile. These are really durable and really nice to have to clean the, or repaste your electronics. You need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 95% plus. You will need a screwdriver set. Uh, I fixed that a screwdriver set is a really good screwdriver set out there. These are made of S2 class steel. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. If this is a simple set, just the screwdriver. If you want to get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a a metallic guitar pick for the opening tool. These are really suitable to opening cases and covers and playing guitar. You will need a curved tweezers and you will need your thermal paste. I recommend you guys to use the Arctic MX4. You can go a little overkill and grab yourself a thermal grizzly cry knot, but that's overdone. That's over exaggerating. So stick with that thermal MX4. These are really good. All right, with all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop and you wanna flip it upside down. And we're gonna realize that there's a one, two, three, four screws under the laptop. So let's put this one here so I can out of focus. So the front end of the laptop has two screws. These are the short ones. So remove these short ones and place them in one corner, in a diff one pile. And then we're gonna expose the rest of the screws that are under the bottom cover, rubber covers right here to scoop it out. So open, put the opening tool right under the rubber and scoop it out and bring it up. Always bring it up in 45 degree. Do not go over like this. Otherwise you're gonna crack the rubber. So bring it up in 45, bring it up and place it to one side. All right, next you wanna expose the front end. Same thing, bring it up in 45 and put it to one side now we're going to see one screw right in here and three screws at the back row so there's a uh, two types of screw the black heavy screws and the chrome ones they're all the same size so spread them remove them and keep them in a different pile also if you guys like my videos and it helps you guys out to do your own service and upgrade you can click that like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area I appreciate that. All right, so we got the short ones, the, the chrome long ones, and the blackhead screws right there. Now, next step is to remove the bottom cover. You want to open up the laptop in a 45 degree angle. You want to stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover. And you want to rotate back, switch it backward like this. And you want to hear a big click. That's what you want to hear. You want to work yourself. All around in the front, you want to hear that clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that to the sides, all the way to the back corner, right there. And do the left and the right side, all the way to the back corner. All right, next, you want to close down the screen, grab the front end that is already loosened up and you want to put your thumb on the hinge and pull this side up and work it around and it will release the back end so there's the bottom side also you need a toothbrush i use our new toothbrush to clean up the bottom mesh right in here the dust mesh clean up and uh, blow up some compressed air make sure you use a dry compressed air i'll leave the link for a good compressed air in my video description if you guys want to purchase yours and down here you can see it's a brand new laptop, so I'm just doing for demonstration. We see the battery and the fan and the heat sink right there. First, we're going to remove the battery by removing four screws. One, two, three, four. Two on the jack and one at the back 
to one at the back each corner. So go ahead and remove these four screws for the battery. When you remove the battery, and um, once you put it back together, even you power on, it takes up to five to 10 seconds. And you get a screen message saying that the BIOS CMOS is reset to default. That's okay. I'll go over that once the video is, once I finish. To lift out the battery, just pull it upward and detach. Put the battery to one side. Now we're gonna work on the removing the fan jack right in here. This fan jack goes upward towards the ceiling. You wanna put the tweezers underneath at the back end and just lift it upward. Don't pull the cables. Next, you wanna remove this tape, the Kapton tape for the Wi-Fi. Bring it to one side. You wanna remove the fan by removing one, two, three screws for the fan. Go ahead and remove the screws for the fan. The screws are the same size and height again. Now we can go ahead and remove the fan. So take your fan out with a toothbrush and you can clean it up and blow some air and remove the dust. And there's the fan. If you don't want to remove the heat sink, you just want to clean it. Just go ahead from here, blow some air and clean the cyst, the heat sink. But if you want to repaste, you want to remove the four screws on the heat sink. So remove the four screws. And then you want to lift up from here, bring it upward. See, there's an extra thermal paste here because they thought the CPU was a double die, but it's a single die. And they already pre pasted right in here. It's not a big deal. So, if you want to grab a piece of workshop towel, you're going to soak it in an alcohol. And we're going to start cleaning up the CPU. Do with a dry part, make sure there's no dust particle, anything in there. Once you clean up the CPU, you want to clean up the heat sink. Grab a new sheet of the workshop towel. Next, you want to grab your thermal paste. You want to put a one tiny line right over across the CPU die right there. Just like that. A little bit goes a long way, so just put a tiny one. It's gonna spread around. And you wanna bring it evenly over the CPU, put it down, and you make sure you cross screw them, always cross screw them so you spread that thermal paste evenly. So I'm gonna put a finger in this side. I'm gonna gently put the screw in there. I'm not gonna tighten it up yet. Just place it on and put the second one in there. Just do a few uh, rotation only. There you go. Now you can go ahead and tighten it up and always do it in an X pattern. So do an X pattern. That way the thermal paste is pressed everywhere. Then grab the fan, place the fan in correct position. Put the three screws for the fan. You want to bring the jack over the connector and then you just want to push it down over the jack and it's going to make a nice click and that means the jack is in place. Next, you want to grab the battery. Make sure you first put the back end of the battery in here uh, right at the screw holes right there and then bring it down and then push it towards the motherboard. Then place the four screws for the battery. Next, you want to grab the bottom cover. You want to place the I also have the HDMI and USB C port, bring it in 45 degree and push it, scoop it right under the jacks and then push it down. Make sure those clicks let go of the other side and push down the corners and then push down the front side. Then you can open it up a little bit. And if you see our openings right in here, you just want to pinch them together and it will make a nice click and it will go to its place. I should clean my hand with our thermal paste. All right, next you want to put the bottom screws. Remember the black screws goes right in the corner at the back. These are the hinge screws. And push down here too, so make sure those, those clicks. And uh, put the long screws everywhere except the front end of the laptop. And then we're going to put the rubber cover. 
Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I always try to answer them as soon as, as I can. All right, let's put this one in and power on the laptop. Let's go ahead and open it up. Make sure everything is squeezed down and we're gonna power on. Now we're gonna wait a few seconds and I should get a text saying that the BIOS is reset. So wait five few seconds. I'm not gonna fast forward this one for you guys. So there we have it. Is that the CMOS checksum is invalid? The CMOS will reset to default. Press enter to restart the computer. Enter. And it will restart. It's out of focusing maybe right now. And there we have HP logo and it's loading the windows. And you should be inside the windows within a few seconds. And any second is as NSSD. So there we are inside the window. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.